So we have this new trip that's coming up, which we're very excited about. And even though we have traveled in the region before, uh, we're including a whole bunch of new stops on this itinerary. Uh, in, uh, starting in the Cape Verde Islands, uh, we've got Fogo, Brava, and Sant Anton, uh, all great stops that we'll be spending the day on before we have a couple days at sea going to the Western Sahara. Uh, the Western Sahara, uh, boy, that's uh, exciting and one of the reasons uh, for me joining this expedition. I, it's, uh, we've got a couple stops that we'll be going into the sand dunes, we'll be visiting with uh, the local people, uh, with local tribes, uh, and uh, going into towns with souks. Uh, but uh, very excited about this. This is uh, one of the, the new places on this itinerary, the Western Sahara. This part of the world is known for its diversity and abundance of marine mammals, so in addition to seeing beautiful uh, sights on land, we're going to be looking for some of these spectacular creatures on our transits as well. One of the highlights of uh, the Canary Islands for me is uh, Lanzarote, which is a volcanic landscape, very stark, beautiful white architecture, and we visit a lava tube there that's flooded uh, and has evolved a unique endemic crayfish or squat lobster found nowhere else in the world. I'm standing in front of Nijo Castle in Kyoto, thinking ahead to a wonderful trip taking us from sea to Sahara. And the aspect of this trip that excites me most of all is that we're ending the trip in Morocco, one of my favorite parts of Africa. And the reason I like that area is because of the Atlas Mountains fantastic range of mountains but my memories of going there always include early mornings going up the valleys on the north side of the Atlas Mountains before dawn listening to the sound of dozens of nightingales these small forest birds migrants that have come across the Sahara breeding in North Africa and singing their hearts out to welcome us as we head up into the mountains <laughs> 